The history of human spaceflight has had many notable chapters. There was Mercury, Gemini, and Apollo. In April 1981, a brave new chapter in human spaceflight began as the first space shuttle was launched. Now, some 30 years later, the last space shuttle, Space Shuttle Atlantis, prepares for its final journey, a journey helped along by the U.S. Air Force. It's a real honor to be here, that's for sure. The whole team's excited. Uh, we always get the pre-launch jitters just a bit, but uh, this is really a historic day, uh, not just for our team, but really for the nation and for NASA in particular. We have the coolest mission in the Air Force uh, with launching rockets and uh, especially uh, to be able to be a part of launching uh, the shuttle. The site behind me is the ROSA radar that tracks the launch vehicle, um, provides azimuth and elevation and range. And the site to the right there is Patrick Domes, that's a telescope, and so it's collecting imagery as well as providing azimuth and elevation. So we're all about tracking the vehicle and making sure it's a safe launch. And so all of that information is sent back to the operations center. I was only 11 years old when the first space shuttle launched in April of 1981. I'll never forget it. My sixth grade teacher pulled out the TV monitor so that me and my fellow classmates could all enjoy that historic moment. One thing's for certain, the space shuttle has made an indelible mark upon the imagination of millions of people around the world. Human nature is to want to get out there and investigate and to challenge new things. And I think that initiative is still there. Personally, I think it's the human aspect that we're still actually launching humans and going into space. Uh, they're heroes to a lot of folks, and yet in talking to them, they're just your ordinary Americans. I just really uh, am going to miss doing the space shuttle launches. It's been an amazing program. It's lasted a, a very long time, and, and so you have to love the longevity that we've had. Um, and it's going to be sad to see the, the shuttle, shuttle end. 40 seconds into the flight. Launching the space shuttle is a highly complicated, vastly integrated human enterprise, which would not be possible without the critical support provided by the men and women of the Air Force's 45th Space Wing, located at Patrick Air Force Base, Florida, and Cape Canaveral Air Force Station. If it wasn't for the Air Force, they wouldn't be launching. So, I mean, if it wasn't for the Air Force doing what we do, from all the aspects, all the career field, all the disciplines, uh, I don't think they would be able to uh, produce the uh, launch that they want. When I first arrived at Patrick Air Force Base, uh, the shuttle program was on a hiatus. I got to see it come back, and uh, I'm here to see it end, and uh, hopefully it ends uh, in spectacular fashion. And uh, we're looking forward to it, so it feels great. It feels great to be part of history. I saw Atlantis whenever uh, she first launched, 1985, I believe it was in October. I hired in to work here just a month after that. I'm very, very sad, but yet, kind of excited about what's on the future. It's making history. It's the last one, so this is it. This launch will be a special day, to say the least. Five. All three engines up and burning. Two, one, zero, and liftoff, the final liftoff of Atlantis. On the shoulders of the space shuttle, America will continue the dream. This successful launch marks the end of an era for human space flight. To the crew of Atlantis, we wish you well. Have a safe mission and return home. And to all future astronauts, brave enough to tackle the high frontier of space, we wish you Godspeed. Reporting from Kennedy Space Center, I'm Richard Lewis.